Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do mid-June readings for all the zodiac signs. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Does it resonate with you? That's great. If they don't, you know what to do with it. <laughs> A big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the uh, little bell icon there. That way you get notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. And if you are returning, then thank you for being on this journey with me. Um, also, every Wednesday I go live, so come join me and my great crew to do a look in on all the Zodiac signs as well as a random reading. So, every Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. Uh, also, if you are interested in my, well, over here, Globe Pendulums, uh, they're absolutely stunning, whether you do Reiki, um, hypnotherapy, or any type of divination practice. They are excellent. You can give me a shout. Uh, email me at strengthandwisdom1 at gmail.com. And also for my mystery healing boxes, which they are over there. <laughs> um, they're wonderful and they bring out the highest properties and qualities of your crystals and your stones. So again, give me a shout at the email address. Okay, so we are going to do fire signs this time. We're going to do Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I think we'll start off with Leo. Let's see what's popping with you. Mid-June 2021. From a lion hearts. Hmm. Diligence. I see there's the eight of coins there. And that's putting your nose to the grindstone. You could be learning a new skill, a quality, a craft. You could be putting all your energy into you to make you the best you you can, Leo. But, you know, it's like giving something your 100. Hmm. And not kind of noticing what's going on around you. Now, you have the four. I'm not sure I'm seeing it right. Yep, the four of swords. And the four of swords is taking a brief pause, a break. But it's brief. It's not a permanent thing here. And it's usually a good time to, you know, reprioritize, strategize, make a plan, make a plan B. You know, Leo, if you are so diligent and you're giving something your 100, you might have to take a break. You know, give your mind a break. Take a little sabbatical. You know, without rest, you know, the body has to break down. The mind doesn't work as well as it, you know, should, Leo. You know, hmm. Maybe if you're afraid of taking a break that maybe you can't get back in the click. You have the five of pentacles here, Lionhearts, and this is feeling ousted, shunned, blocked, the outside in. Could be abandoned, alone, loneliness, financial pinch. This is like being ousted. Now, remember, Leo, this could be the energy that you're putting out there, the energy that's coming towards you. Friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however it applies. So maybe you have been working hard, working diligent on something. And you decide to take a small break. And then when you take the break, you, you feel alone because you've been in this mode for so long. Leo, did you forget how to have fun? You know, if you're not putting your nose to the grindstone and stuff, then you kind of feel like you have no balance. Because mm, we get issues. We have the moon here. Now the moon likes to hide things, lies, secrets, deception. Leo could be fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of, you know, if you take a short break from something. What I'm seeing in my head here Line hearts is that, you know, you swim so far, and now you're afraid that you can't get back in land. Not true. But there could be something, you know, 
hidden here, an underlying theme. Maybe some, you know, deep emotions that want to come to the surface. Still can be fear, fear of the unknown. If you don't have your feet, you know, on the ground and you feel weightless. Hmm. Hmm. Now you have the Page of Swords. And it's on its side. Bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Hanged man. Seeing something from a different point of view here, you know, I think it's going to be important. Because the spy card on its side, you know, in the upright, this could be somebody checking out your social media. You them, them you. You know what I mean? Trying to find out where Leo's at, you know, to a friend of a friend of a friend. You know, I get the idea. But this is almost like you want to know, but you don't want to know. You want to peek, but you're afraid of the results. You want to know, you don't want to know. You want to communicate, you don't want to communicate. Strange place for a Leo to be in. Because you guys are confident in everything that you do. You know, you have a lot of due diligence. You pour yourself into everything that you do. Whether it's partnership, friendship, loveship, career, you know, family. But the break, I think, is much needed. Lionhearts. It's not that if you take a, excuse me, if you <clears throat> take a break, that you're ousted. It's not that if you take a sabbatical, that you can't go back. Leo, I feel that there's You've been going so long, like a machine, that maybe you did forget how to have fun. Maybe you did, you know, forget how to relax. Stop, smell the roses. Because maybe you're losing touch of something here, possibly even yourself. You know? Enjoy the break because, you know what, it's temporary. And on that break, don't feel like you're outcasted or alone. Because you're not. You're doing a kindness to yourself. Whether you know it or not. Time well spent. And you know, this could even be, you know, checking out the internet. Getting some info. You know, maybe when you are taking a hiatus. You know, maybe there's something you do want to check out. Maybe there's something that you want to, you know, a class or a place you want to go or people you want to see. Check them out, you know. Absolutely. Because by doing this and having this kindness to yourself, you will see things in a different point of view. I think that's important. So... Wow. Good luck, Leo. Use my medieval cats for my lion hearts. Okay. Let's go on to Aries. Let's see what's popping with Aries. Mid-June 2021. What's going on with the Rams? Aries. Well, Aries, you have the Two of Wands here. Now, in a lot of other decks, this could be, you know, coming to the crossroad. You gotta go left, you gotta go right. But this is like optimism. This is doing something new. Because the other one is in the cement, but the other one is not. You know, this could be same old, same old. But this is like a new course of action. And the possibilities from taking this course of action are endless because the world is in his hand. Well, it's your oyster, Aries. 
putting something into, you know, motion can bring up a lot of what ifs, possibilities, new places, new things, new people. Optimism. Now, you have the Six of Pentacles here. Here's the even exchange of generosity, the 50-50 deal. You always want to make sure that you are receiving as much as you're giving. Sorry. And then you have the Page of Wands here. Aries, this comes from your suit. We started off with Wands. And the Page of Wands is a messenger to get the ball rolling. You know, put something in motion. Take action. It could be about making something fair. It's about seeing something from a different point of view. And maybe it's the whole point of what is fair and what, is, what isn't. Because if you're going in a new direction, Aries, you know, whether you're solo or not solo, and again, the energy coming towards you, the energy putting out there, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, and what it applies, it's about being fair. But being generous, you know, it's about receiving as much as you give, you know, and not somebody taking more and you getting less. Maybe it's time to, you know, give props what props do or give back a little bit here, Aries. You know, the people that help you on your journey, you know, if you get a chance to help them, by all means. Yeah, because maybe you are seeing something from a different point of view. Or maybe somebody get out of the clink. <laughs> you get the Eight of Swords in reverse. Now, in the upright, this is being trapped by thought. Sometimes it is a physical incarceration. But this person is blinded by thinking about the same thing over and over again and not getting any resolution or restitution to it. Uh -uh. Blindfold off now, baby. You're seeing something quite que clearly. Seeing it from a different point of view, a different angle. And maybe that's what gives you the motivation, you know, to make something fair. Especially if you've been waiting a long time, Aries. You know, this has got fire all over it. The Nine of Wands is, you know, the person that's been in the battle for so long, but they don't give up. You know, yeah, he's battle wounded and weary, but he's in it. The one rod that he started off with is the one he takes down all in the end. Aries, doesn't matter what the other eight rods are doing. You know what I always say? Kick rocks. You know, this could be waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to change. But you're still in it, Aries. You're in it. And I don't think you're waiting for change. I think you've been waiting to embark on something new. And in order to do that, maybe somebody had to give, you know, a little your way. Or you, Aries. But the even exchange of generosity, maybe that whole subject right there, okay, is something that you're in pursuit of. Maybe it clicks. Maybe you get it. Maybe you see it from a different point of view and it makes you understand something. But off, it awfully, listen to me, awfully, but it, it opens your eyes. Whether it's a deep appreciation, a deeper understanding. But if you've been waiting a long time for maybe the definition of 50-50 deal. You get it, Aries. You get it. And what you didn't understand before, you'll understand now. And that puts everything in a whole new perspective for you. So, wow. Aries. Get it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, where did I put the... There it was. All right. Going on to Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sag. 
mid-June 2021 for Sagittarius. Whoa. Waste no time. Hmm. We have the Four of Cups. No, excuse me, we have the Five of Cups. Wow. The one I want to come out with it is the Hierophant. Okay. The Five of Cups is the would-haves, the could-haves, the should-haves. The remorse, the regret, sorrow. You know, but it's, all, it's also the all hope is not lost here, Sag, because even though this person is mourning the loss of the Three Cups, look at the window. If this person just turns around, not everything's lost. You still have Two Cups. And the Two of Cups is that I get you card. That connection with someone, whether it's friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however it applies. And then after that, you have the Hierophant, and this is the Taurus card. And usually there's a a priest, something very, you know, religious-like. But the Hierophant is about having faith, having hope, higher institutes of learning. It's about doing things the right way, traditionally, conventionally, you know, by the books. So, Sag, maybe there's something you're missing, or you feel like you're missing. Would've, could've, should've, you could've done something different. But you could've said something different. But you can't unring a bell. But you can learn from it. You can learn higher institutes of learning. Sometimes it means college or, you know, taking a training course or class. But by doing things the right way, the conventional way, okay, it could also be the moral way of looking at something. Because something's got you thinking and thinking hard. You have the Nine of Swords here. It's almost like haunted by thoughts. Fear, maybe. This is about, you know, sleepless nights, maybe a little anxiety. Thinking about something over and over, no resolution, no restitution to it. So, whatever you're missing here or have, you know, regret about, Sag, it's really getting to you. You know, what's done is done, Sag. You know, you can only make things better, you know, by doing something the right way, the conventional way, the practical way, or the moral way. But doing nothing, you know, brings that nine, the Nine of Swords energy in. Now next we have the Three of Pentacles. Here we go. Now this is being recognized. Sorry. This is being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Being recognized for being that great person, Sage. And maybe there is something, maybe somebody took credit for something, Sag. And you wish you said something, you wish you did something about it. And you know what? The right way, the practical way, by the book's way, just don't worry about it. Don't give it another thought. Yeah, you know, it probably blows. But do what you do best, Sag. Work your craft. Be recognized for being the best at what you do. Or put that hard work back into yourself and people will realize, hey, you need to take a good look at you. Because it could be, have something to do. You go to nine swords to ten. A backstab or a betrayal. Now check the card out, Sag. Not very humbling or pleasant. Didn't see it coming. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> but you get the ten of cups here. This is emotional fulfillment at its finest. It's like riding unicorns. Or whatever your emotional fulfillment is. 
how you perceive it. So Sag, this could be about the past. What is, could have, should have, remorse, regret, sorrow. Everybody has them. You learn from them. And doing things the right way, opposed to not the right way. Doing things by the books, doing things legit, or even morally. Can get you out of this haunt. The more you think about it, the more you give it power. Now, doing what you're great at doing will put you ahead of the class, of the game, you know, due diligence here. Work at craft. And if it's not even your craft, put that energy back in you and make you the best person that you can be. Because, sad, we all make mistakes. You know, sometimes you don't mean to do them. Or if they're done on to us. You know, tens are at the end of a cycle. Yeah. You know, it does blow when at the end of a cycle there's a backstab, there's a betray, lied to, and cheated on. Whether you did this sad to someone or someone did it to you. The thing is that it's the end. And where this door closes, another one opens. And that's where you let the light in. And that's where you let the shine in. And that's where you prove that something did not kill you. Maybe it made you stronger. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to join me and my crew. So till then, take care.